This is a different one. This is about journalists in Gaza. This is about journalists who work for the AP and Reuters. The AP and Reuters, two of the entities we get pretty much all our news from because they're the ones who have journalists all over the world who are actually on the ground. Well, in some cases, these journalists are literally on the ground. I mean, they're on the ground with the terrorists as they rape and murder and, 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 and torture. Um, and uh, it turns out that a number of uh, journalists, uh, one of them photojournalist Ashraf Amra, uh, that work with AP and uh, Reuters, were right there on uh, October 7th filming what uh, the Hamas was doing, partially because they were embedded with Hamas. But there's also pictures now uh, being shown of them sitting around, of, uh, in this case, Afshaf Amba, uh, with uh, a couple of his friends sitting around watching some of the videos of Israeli soldiers, in this case, being slaughtered, just being brutally murdered, um, and laughing and having a good cheer about it and enjoying the whole thing. Um, Uh, another one, uh, Abu Mustafa, uh, a freelancer, has been working for Reuters. Um, and uh, he was like, hey, I was just in, in Israel. Uh, this is on October 7th. Uh, all of you, you should come. You should, you know, he was saying this on, on, on his social media, encouraging uh, uh, Gazans, Palestinians, to cross over the fence and go join in the slaughter and in the rape and in the pillaging that was going on. This is a once in a lifetime thing he was telling them. These are journalists who our mainstream media uses. Is it any surprise that we get the kind of stories that we get? Is it any surprise that this is the kind of screening uh, uh, that, that our news agencies do where they actually get um, where we actually get kind of objective information, not objective information. These people are part of Hamas. They are part of the terrorist organization. Uh, they are part of uh, the Palestinian regime that is responsible for, all the, for, for the slaughter. And, um, and they are reporting on it at the same time. Well, objectivity out the window. But I think that's true in so much of our journalism uh, today.